Hi everybody, this is your instructor Anne and this is your at a glance for this week. Uh, there's an important lesson that I do each time I teach this course and I learned it many years ago when I was teaching, uh, when I was getting my master's in special education and I was teaching special populations of learners and also uh, I was working with a lot of students in materials. So it's not only in special education, uh, in the general academic subjects, but also in making art and making things. Um, and so an assignment I do in a group, but since we're an online class, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to ask you to do it solo. And I'm going to give you an option, but I'm going to ask you to email the assignment to me and I'd like to take a look at it and actually give you feedback, uh, written feedback on the assignment. This online course, a lot of it is so virtual and I want to take this opportunity to give you actual feedback of reading your assignment and hearing what, um, what, you, what your take is on this. So the assignment has to do with uh, peanut butter and jelly and the sequencing of writing instructions. So much of what we do with teaching is creating a systematic way to unfold information. And in the arts, many times it's step by step to create something, to make something, to explore. Um, for this very pure way of really diagnostically looking at how we make an uh, instructional list, we're going to be making peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So how I usually do this, I put people in pairs and one person makes the sandwich and the other person writes down the sequences. Step one, do this. Step two, do this. Uh, if you'd like it to do, do it that way, you can. Um, otherwise, uh, you're going to be taking doing it solo with peanut butter and jelly. Uh, bread, peanut butter, jelly, the tools that you would need to do that and uh, you would sequentially write it down and then I'm going to ask you to um, submit it to me. Usually in the group we switch places and the sandwich is made by somebody else, by the other person, the pair. So someone makes the sandwich, someone writes it down, then they switch and the person who wrote everything down now has to follow those directions. So if you have somebody, you can do it in a pair uh, and switch roles and somebody now makes the sandwich according to the exact, exact directions. Or you can uh, make your peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you're not allergic to peanuts and you can email it to me. All right, and I've done this assignment so many times, um, I will know what to look for. So you can either do it um, and have some fun with having somebody make your sandwich as an extra bonus, but still please email me your instructions. Or if you don't have a partner, then just make the sandwich, make your step-by-step -step and uh, send it to me. So I'm gonna ask you to email it to me and please put your name and the assignment, the peanut butter PBJ assignment in uh, the title head of the email and I'd like to take a look at them. Next week I'm going to be doing a video stay, staying with peanuts. I don't know this this course we I just have a nutty thing going on. Um, the peanut assignment which is the book. Um, again don't worry about art skills and I'll be making a video and giving you clear-cut um, directions. That's what we do as teachers and again the special learner needs a lot of uh, sequence with that. So next week, get ready for an unfolding of the peanut book. And um, for the peanut butter and jelly assignment, I'm gonna ask that that is in by next Monday. And uh, if anybody needs more time on it, just email me. Again, I'm flexible, We're, uh, this is a master's level class, and email any of your questions. And, um, We'll see you next week then when I unfold the midterm assignment and it'll give you a little extra time. It will not be due until um, I think a little towards the middle of uh, October. 
all right, or closer to the, you know, in the 20s there. So you have lots of time. Um, and it is a project, the midterm project can be uh, labor intensive, depending on how you take it. Um, I'm not requiring it to be this masterpiece, but there will be criteria for you to meet as a teacher, and then there'll be a lesson plan following that. Again, everything will be on the Moodle and very explained, and uh, it'll unfold next week. Uh, enjoy Moodle for this week, and take care. Bye-bye.